Yo Rebels, what is going on? Welcome back to Hunger Games on the Mindplex. We were actually going to get a chest from the very middle today. Hmm, that's the first. Anyway, we are playing on Fallout and uh, we're not doing a challenge today because I don't feel like doing a challenge. I don't know why. I just feel like playing the game, recording. You know, it's fun. It's fun to do that. I, like, not every video has to be a challenge, right? There's no rules, no laws that suggest that they do, so... You know, I'm not doing anything illegal here, don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, okay, weapon. Weapon is always nice. Sometimes I have trouble getting weapons. Like, I get the best armor and food and secondaries off spawn, but no weapon. And then some guy keeps chasing me, and they just don't stop chasing. They hit you a couple of times off spawn, and they chase you for the couple for the next couple of minutes. And then you miss out on getting good stuff, unless you already got good stuff from spawn, of course. And that's very frustrating at times. But, you know, it's part of the game to be spawn killed or chased off spawn or something like that. You just gotta watch out for that. And um, eventually they will most likely give up. A good strategy would be to just lead them into some other random dude and they'll fight it out and then you can go and get a weapon. The problem with that is obviously that most chests would probably be looted. Most obvious chests anyway. That's why it's good to know that know the map well because you can also get those you can always get those those more difficult to find chests, if all other ones have been looted. But hey, we didn't get chased off spawn, so it's all good. Hope you die IRL. Well, okay. <laughs> some people, I don't even know, some people are like... <laughs> don't want to talk about it, man. <laughs> oh well, there will always be those people. And then there's them, lol you mad, who are not gonna improve the situation at all. But hey. I, I'm lucky to not be calling myself one of those people. Very, very, very lucky. And... Ah, I, wanna, I want a bow. I want a bow. Fishing rod would be nice, but we got them eggs. So, you know, it's better than nothing. Oh, hello. Hello. You got that chest plate that I need? Maybe the chest plate I need is in here, though. No. <laughs> Alright, we don't need this anymore. I never keep non-saturating food, or you know, badly saturating food. It's so useless, man. Especially bacon. Ba I wish bacon was more saturating. You, you can eat three pa three pieces in a row, and you run around for 30 seconds, and boom, you gotta eat again. The end. Uh, this guy, he's obviously looking for people, and he's gonna find people, aka me. Unless he doesn't turn back, in which case, you know what, I'll take that. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Ah, uh, not the dog again. I hate the dogs. I hate the dogs. And look, 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 look. Got him. Mm, we're fine. Ready, ready. Whoa. All right, let's run. There's a person coming. <laughs> All right, that was a pretty cool fight. I like that. I like that. These close fights, you know, where the adrenaline kicks in. I like them fights. All right. Anyway, this morning when I woke up, which was actually an hour ago approximately, <laughs> um, I saw a message from Dalimgar and he shared a find with me. He found a um, permanent crafting table on this map, which was not the one at spawn. It's actually the main reason why I'm playing on this map and not any other one, to be honest. <laughs> but um, it's always good to find alternate crafting tables that are not at spawn, especially on this map. I always used to think there is only one crafting table that you can be sure would exist, and that's the one at spawn, but that seems to be incorrect. Coincidentally, we are very close to this crafting table that Delum discovered. So we have the crane here. This is the diamond chest plate building, in case you didn't know. This is the... I think it's been... Is it open? No. <laughs> we should probably try and help, but I can't be bothered getting items. This is the diamond chest plate room. Oh god, is this a team, possibly? La 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 Oh, no. No, they're not gonna shoot me, okay. Uh, watch this, watch this, ready? Oh. No, 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 I need to be sneaky about the situation. Oh, I got cake ready. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a team. Oh, compasses. Oh yeah, there we go. I need to collect this guy's stuff. He may have had arrows. Did he have arrows? He did. Oh, 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 little Steve, little Steve, little Steve, little Steve. Just 
the, the power of strafing. Anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, there is a crafting table in this building and I am about to share with you how to get it. Or how to get there more like. It's not that difficult if you do it. I tried it just then in a previous game. I got lost because this building is confusing as hell. <laughs> uh, and again, I almost got went to the wrong staircase. Okay, this is the staircase you want to go up. And you just follow the pathway. And you go up a second staircase. There'll be a wooden door here. And from then you go to the other side of this little area. And yes, this is the one. This iron door. And you go to the end of this corridor. And boom! Look at that! How awesome is that? I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, remember, if you find any of these things and you want to share them, I should have probably not. I should have made them arrows. That's good. If you want to share them, let me know and uh, I'll spotlight your discovery. Spotlight your discovery on a episode of Hunger Games on the Mindplex. Hey, son, how's it going? <laughs> but the only problem is going. Oh, it's actually an easy way up. Um, t I take everything I said in the last minute back. Uh, you can simply go up these vines and. Boom. Ten seconds and you're up here. <laughs> but if you want to take the cool way, only reserved for cool people, go up the staircase. Please, do yourself a favor. <laughs> Alright. Also, I should probably share this with you guys. There is, as I have discovered a couple of days ago, another enchanting table. You guys, you guys know about the one at southeast in the corner in this building that I usually use. There's an enchanting table in that building always. It seems like there is always an enchanting table up here. I have found it three times, and uh, usually if you find something three times in a row, it's always there. So if you go up here, yep, and boom, enchanting table. So this is great. This is the only map, I think, where I am sure, where I know the exact locations of two enchanting tables, which is cool. And you can also have the vines and stuff. You can go down quite quickly and there's also another escape route down here because there's vines everywhere on this building to catch you so there's like there's no fear of, of dying by fall damage or anything. The only problem is when you go up those vines that I showed you just then um, people can shoot you down. If you're at low health do not go up those vines because you can't really dodge them arrows. But if someone goes up you can basically choke point up there up there, and if they come up, you can just shoot them, and they'll most likely die or fall off or something like that. It's pretty sick. I like it, I like it, I like it. Alright, 21 blocks, that's right here. Hello. No! Alright, intense, intense, intense. Anyway, <laughs> one more thing I want to mention is that recently, a couple of days ago, on the forums, I wrote a thread about how I think. Mindplex should bring back the uh, classic, like some people call it a classic, survival games mode. You know how a couple of weeks ago they introduced the teaming mode? Well, I wrote a thread saying that I want them to return the, uh, to bring back the old mode in the form of a third survival games mode. And the response to that was absolutely insane! How did that arrow not hit? It was insane, man! Lots and lots of people agreed with me, and there were a couple of opposing ideas, of course, there always will be, but uh, mostly the response was very positive, and um, I think my idea is very well thought out, so if you want to go and, you know, check it out, I'll leave a link to the thread in the description. You don't need an account or anything to view this guy. Is this guy hacking? What the heck? You, d <laughs> you don't need an account to view it, you just need an account if you want to reply, but, you know, you don't need to reply. This guy's hacking. This guy was hacking. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, Alright. Uh, <laughs> whatever. As I was saying, um, go check it out. It's, uh, uh, if, if, you like, if you're interested in this stuff, if you used to like the survival games more before the update than now, because it was more dynamic gameplay and stuff, um, you know, go read over it. It's a lot of information. If you're bored, go read over it and tell me what you think. I would be interested in hearing your... Uh, ideas, your thoughts, especially if you're against the idea, especially, because I want to see why you're against the idea. If you read my thread, you'll see how, like, I made it so that really there isn't, as far as I know, a reason to be against the idea, but anyway, that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, or time, or episode of Hunger Guests of the Mind Stay revel and 
Goodbye.